Good day everyone, welcome back to our channel Royal Fingers. I hope you are well as you find this video. Today I'm going to share with you the storage upgrade I've done for my 13 inch MacBook Pro early 2015. Um, this DIY project is inspired from BrickMax.com tutorial. I've followed his ways of upgrading this early 2015 machine from 128GB to 1TB. So all you need for the replacement parts are one terabyte M.2 SSD and M.2 SSD adapter. And you need the M.2 SSD enclosure, P5 pentalobe screwdriver, spudger, and P5 torque screwdriver for your tools. So let's dig in into it. So we have nine simple steps to follow. First, we have to uh, install the M.2 SSD to the enclosure. So the enclosure that we have is pretty easy to um, use. All you have to do is open the back end of the back inside of it to insert the SSD. So this is the first process that I take. So I can format the SSD and then uh, install the copy of my existing operating system and the files with it. So the moment I attach the new terabyte one terabyte SSD to my MacBook Pro I can directly use it. So the moment you connect this um, enclosure, it should pop up in your desktop and then um, this uh, enclosure has a light indicator that will tell you it's working. So the moment the external drive pops up, just hit ignore and open it via this utility and click erase to format it and then assign APFS as your volume type for Mac Pixar and then you please go ahead and start installing the um, current operating system make sure that you have um, updated version of your operating system so once it is confirmed that you've got updated version of it um, go ahead and install the operating system in your external drive to do so, just follow the instructions in the screen and you will be fine. So once you're asked to transfer files, you choose to migrate all the files that you have in your um, 128GB SSD transferred to your 1TB SSD which 
currently we use as external drive. Um, process may take a while depending on the files that you have in your drive. So after the installation of the operating system and the migration of your files, you go ahead and install our 1TB SSD to our 13-inch MacBook Pro. So to do so, we have to remove the 1TB uh, SSD from our enclosure and then insert the adapter so we can install it to our MacBook Pro 2015. So with P5 Petalot screwdriver, we remove the 10 screws of the lower case of our machine in order for us to access the SSD. And I fixed it that Chrome has a comprehensive guide of the MacBook Pro 13 inch retina display early 2015 SSD replacement. So if you want help and guidance in how to do it correctly, you should go head up to iFixit.com. So after the installation of the 1TB SSD replacement, uh, we turn on the machine and as you can see right here, we have successfully installed the 1TB SSD. It's just a friendly reminder, um, to keep your settings, you have to reset the MVRAM or the PROM 
And to do so, you have to shut down your computer and hold the keys Command, Option, P, and R right after you press the power button and release the keys after you hear the second startup sound. There you go folks, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye for now.